Hello, this is Kevin Chaudhary. Today in this lecture, I want to talk about Vertex. Vertex is very interesting. Vertex is such an important instrument. I call it a key, a key to all the secrets. Like for example, you have key for pyramids, the secrets of the pyramid. Here you have a key which will reveal all the secrets of Great Circle. Great Circle actually is such a simple thing. I tell the students, like uh, if you've seen a cricket ball, right, on that cricket ball, you have uh, the seam dividing it in two parts. It is like a, it is equator of say our earth. So you can consider that seam to be like an equator, right? With north and south pole 90 degrees away from uh, the seam. Now, suppose you put a rubber band over this cricket ball, right? That rubber band also divides the ball into equal parts and you can consider that the uh, that rubber band is a great circle. So what is great circle? Great circle is a circle on the surface of the sphere, not inside the sphere, on the surface of sphere, in such a way that its plane passes through the center of the sphere, right? But it has so many secrets with it. I will dedicate this lecture into uh, telling you that what all things we should know. You can see this point, this point is the closest to the North Pole, this point is closest to the south pole so this is north vertex and this is south vertex so there are various things I'm going to talk about the vertex so the first point is every great circle except the equator has two vertices one in the northern hemisphere and second one in the southern hemisphere right you keep noting down the points which I tell you about the vertex Look at this plane of uh, great circle right? and if you are uh, looking at the plane of great circle this particular angle which is made with the plane of equator is something like uh, a geocentric latitude right so uh, roughly if we say this is the latitude then can we say that this is equal to the latitude of vertex also the latitude of vertex therefore is the angle between the ship's head and the east-west line. In fact, a smaller angle between the forward aft line of the ship and the east-west line. So at equator crossing, this is equator crossing. At equator crossing, whatever is the angle between the ship's head and the east-west line is also the latitude of the vertex. And therefore, there is a relationship with equator crossing. The third thing is, if I know the longitude of equator crossing, then I also can find out the longitude of vertex. Because whatever is the longitude of equator crossing, you can do plus minus 90 to that longitude and you can find out the vertex longitude, right? Equator longitude and vertex longitude. There is a relationship, right? I will give you a practical example. Suppose 070 is equator crossing longitude. Then I add 90 degrees to it. It becomes 160 degrees west. That becomes the longitude of the vertex. Now one vertex is away from another vertex by 180 degrees. If I go 180 degrees more westwards, what do I get? 340 degrees west but you can't have a longitude more than 180 degrees if you ever get a longitude more than 180 degrees very simple subtract from 360 and change the name so 0 to 0 degree east is the longitude of another vertex so this is how you can find out from the equator crossing longitude you add 90 and then again add 180 if ever you get a longitude more than 180 degrees subtract from 360 change the name so you don't have to think much about it so i told you the relationship between the equator crossing longitude and the vertex longitude another thing about the vertex at the vertex the course is 90 or 270 the course is 90 or 270 suppose the ship is going along this great circle at the vertex the course will be 90 or 270 now my question to the students often is if the course at north vertex is 90, what will be the course at south vertex? Many of them they say 270. 
so I tell those boys look in any great circle in any great circle if ever wherever you have any sturdy course into your course that is sturdy course can never become westerly course you may go around the globe but easterly course Easterly element will never change to westerly element. So, if your course is 90 at one vertex, your course will be 90 at another vertex also. It cannot change, right? So, what happens is, after vertex, the north-south course changes the name. Like before reaching the vertex, if the course had north element, it will become south and south element will become north. North changes to south and south changes to north after crossing the vertex, right? But east will never change to west. What else can be said about the vertex? Suppose in northern hemisphere, my course has got north element. It means that I am still going north. That means the vertex is ahead. And in northern hemisphere, if my course has got south element, that means I have left the vertex behind. A simple common sense. In northern hemisphere, if I am still going north, that means vertex is ahead. But if I have started going south, that means I have left the vertex behind. Similar thing can be said about the southern hemisphere also. One thing everybody knows about the vertex is that the vertex is the closest that you can reach the pole. So uh, let's write the point number seven as closest. So, when we are doing great circle uh, sailing, we know that the vertex is the point that will take you closest to the pole. Sometimes in the charter party, you are given a latitude which restricts your northward or southward sailing. Knowledge of pole tells you how much north you will go in your great circle course. If you have to change the longitudes, if you have to have a D long of 180 degrees, you would have probably traveled half the circumference of the earth so much of distance and time it will take if you want to change the meridian by 180 degrees along a uh, great circle course but north pole and south pole are two special vertices that if you go on a great circle whose vertex is 90 degrees then within a matter of few miles you will change your longitude or meridian by 180 degrees that means just before the vertex the course is north and just after the vertex one step after the vertex the course is southerly and you have changed the longitude by 180 degrees in one particular examination they asked like if uh, the initial and final latitudes were same d long 180 degrees and the distance traveled between initial and final position is 600 miles then what was your initial and what was your final latitude so this particular question is a special question. If you have not traveled by uh, half of the circumference of the earth, you have just traveled 600 miles and the latitudes are same. That means from the latitude to reach pole, it is 300 miles. 300 miles means 5 degrees. That means your initial latitude was 85 degrees and your final latitude was also 85 degrees. Uh, that is the special vertex in the great circle sailing if you find out initial course and final course if you compare initial course and final course and comparing the initial course and final course for example if your initial course was 070 and final course was 140 that means initial course has got northerly component and final course has got southerly component and what I tell the student, the simple way to understand this particular uh, principle is if uh, between the initial and final course, if you get a count of 090 or you get a count of 270, you know the counting between 70 and 140, we know that 090 comes. If 090 or 270 comes in between initial and final course, that would mean that the vertex is in between A and B. Let us... Uh, compare this particular course 04070 is initial course and uh, 085 is the final course 
070085 and 90 would come beyond 85. That means if this is A, this is B, the vertex is shortly after the B. Also, another important thing to understand here is if there is a D long of more than, let's call it a point number 10. So if there is a D long of more than 90 degrees between A and B, that is the initial position and final position, if there is a D long of more than 90 degrees and both these positions are in the same hemisphere, then the vertex is between A and B. Vertex is bound to be between A and B. Right? Because equator crossing to equator crossing is 180 degrees, out of which 180 divided by 2 is 90 degrees. And if I say that the D long between A and B is more than 90, the vertex is bound to be between A and B. So these were a few things about the vertex.